Hey, Gavox here. So, we got the blog detailing the rest of the Mutt 23 info, and this is probably the most positive I've seen the general Madden community from the subreddit to my Twitter follows, which follows quite a few people, um, in a while. It's been quite some time, you know, before 22, there was a lot of, you know, negative feedback on a lot of the bugs that we saw, you know, some of the changes are kind of iffy, but like, you know, generally there's positivity every year, but this is probably the most positive, so hopefully 23 offers, I guess, fewer bugs and, and more like uh, concise gameplay. I've, you guys have heard my thoughts on that from the beta. They had some things to tighten up, tune up, offensive line awareness and stuff, but Let's get into this blog right here that the main reason that you're in this and I think the biggest negative thing that I can say about it is that why didn't you just drop why did you drop it so early in the morning? Can you just like give it a few hours? It's almost like to sleep in a little bit. Uh okay. So field pass. We talked about this yesterday in that video. Um I don't think I'm going to go over this that much. Basically, it's a battle pass, right? Like a uh, field pass is 60 levels of rewards ranging from coins, packs, uniforms, even a high overall player item. Now, the field pass there's multiples of them. There's they say that okay, they call it competitive pass to be fair. So there's field pass, competitive pass. Basically, if you guys played out with the show, it's a lot like their programs and like their BR program. Now the competitive pass will uh reset every two weeks. They have different coins and packs, reward, high overall player item, they'll be there too. Um, you can play solo battles, head to head seasons, squads, or mutt champions to earn progress in the competitive pass. So you don't have to just do one or the other or but you kind of might have to do them both to get to like say i don't know i only show us like 100 points so we'll just keep it let's just we'll say 100 point scale the rest of this video so maybe like your solo battles will get you i don't know 60 points or something now they've, they've increased the number of solo battles per day to be fair we'll go through some of these screenshots um so season xp so here's the season pass this is the one thing above the field pass um then the competitive pass is right here and then like obviously each individual program will have a pass too which we talked about yesterday also so it, it, it's kind of cool because like I, I this is kind of what i've i've hoped for for the xp system from the last couple years uh now as you see it says level three which corresponds to this level right here okay so your levels same thing okay and this is kind of what I want. like i want what what you do in game like you're going for solo objectives and stuff and doing stuff like playing games and then kind of like it just like in the background accrues as you're playing instead of what it used to be in madden which was basically going into a solo and throwing you know eighty thousand yards for mutt master now they eliminated mutt master which you know i don't want to bury lead that's kind of a big deal i really love mutt master but the way they had bastardized it over the last I think five years it's been terrible for so long and it, it takes so long for them to recognize their feedback sadly and instead of like updating it to make an actual like a master accomplishment in mutt they decided to get rid of it and they do like mutt masters every two weeks here in the competitive uh season one will have a, a mutt master type person too so every 60 days uh, this is 66 days so they must have taken it i don't know it's about six days till launch uh but yeah competitive 20 days that they said that's two weeks so 20 days a little bit longer based off my math i don't know i've, I've been gone a little bit uh, from the old math sphere but anyways it's kind of neat look at these screenshots of it uh we still have challenges solo battles head to head play a friend butt draft you'll notice no salary cap they got rid of salary cap i don't think anybody played it like i thought like dude i've said this for a couple years salary cap like only needed to be changed like obviously rewards need to be better in mutt draft to salary cap they didn't even draft, make mutt draft free ideally um uh, they did mention that mock draft they are starting they're going to update it more this year which is cool but salary cap they only need to make it like abilities where like you could only do so much in offense so much of defense because people would basically tank their offense and go all defense make the game super annoying to play against it's like they try and run and scrape out a few points there um so salary cap it was a good idea but because it went competitive right anything the competitive team at ea touches dies it gets worse and that salary cap mutt draft that same thing happened to it <clears throat> so sadly it is what it is okay so uh that's kind of what i want to go with the field passes here here's some of the rewards oh, i didn't, I didn't go through through all the screenshots either here here are you know getting the levels level two level three this counts level three so check mark next to twenty thousand xp um that's pretty neat we then have the stats here's how you get the xp there's 500 xp there 1500 50 touchdowns in any mode any mode any mode so it looks like mutt draft will probably um account for this too along with solo battles everything will count for it they got the daily track and do so they'll give you dailies um 
here is the competitive pass mutt champions tokens so they brought back the need to qualify for weekend league but weekend league is no longer weekend league weekend league is now a week league and uh, it, it gives them more time to people now I know like some content creators that you know di didn't do anything on the weekend had a lot of time to finish it and it was it was very great for them because like it was like an event and stuff but I think overall stretching out the week because people have different things popping up you know you got to go visit relatives this day you gotta stay late at your job this day your kids got to practice or a game this day so stretching out over the full week instead of just Thursday to Sunday um, allows more flexibility for uh, uh, weekend league, aka Mutt Champions. The thing is, like, it was so funny they said they changed its name to Mutt Champions, but it's always been Mutt Champions. That's the funny. Like, <laughs> when they, they had a line in here doing that, I'm not gonna find the line, but I was, I was, I was, uh, I was laughing a little bit. It's like, wait, we changed the name to the same thing. I, okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna rebrand myself for season six of Gut Facts here. Season six Gut Facts. You guys can go ahead and call me Gut Facts. Okay. I just, I just want to let you guys know. That that's what I want to be called now. And we're revamping my entire personality, my entire shtick. Make sure and call me Gutfax now. All right? Or Supreme Leader of the Universe. Either one's fine. These program specific field pass with their own rewards and objectives related to the program. So that the headliners field pass that we talked about yesterday. Um, so we got a bunch of different. So like multiple tracks all at once going with different rewards for getting different milestones. Mutt Champions, we just talked about that. The interesting thing, this screenshot shows, says a lot, right? Okay, so Mutt Champions unlocked now by having the Mutt Champions token that we saw above by grinding out your competitive battle pass, okay? So, and then there is a leaderboard. I know a lot of people are freaking out about Top 100 because FIFA eliminated Top 100 a couple, uh, was it a couple years ago or last year? I don't remember, but it does look like there's a leaderboard for champions. So they can give out Top 100 rewards and that might be something that they're gonna do i don't know i don't know if they haven't really said it one way or the other in this blog so they're also the big benefit of this too is whenever you finish your 25 games of weekend league right um 25 games per week you get your rewards immediately so like if you blitz out 25 games monday tuesday boom you get your weekend league rewards or your your mutt champion rewards on tuesday for that whole week okay and then and then you can just focus on doing like head-to-head -head seasons. Now, the other big thing here. Oh, also, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The other big thing here. So we got seasons, and we have all Madden seasons. Now, I don't know how they're gonna do all Madden seasons, but from a couple years ago, not this pat, not 22, but 21, when there was all Madden seasons, that was the easiest game mode of all time. Okay, because they didn't have Elo. Like matching up at all Madden. This is where you saw content creators making videos. I came back down 100 points, or I came back down 50 points. I got it. because all Madden seasons you play against anybody so like in seasons you'll sweat because they'll bring you up to whatever your skill level is so like they want you to win 50% of the time in seasons but if all Madden seasons stay the same with no elo ooh, mwah, that's gonna be gorgeous they also make it quote-unquote easier to win Super Bowls this year we'll see of course uh, they, they lower the number of regular season games um, squad season still there this is house rules right here one and done um, so that's going to be one of the house rules, it looks like, right away immediately. So overall, we're seeing quite a bit of things. Rewards, obviously, is going to tell you what rewards you get from Mutt Champions. Um, so it's kind of listening to a lot of, like, people's feedback. Now, my feedback is just ignored, it feels like, totally. I want custom audible save game to game, okay? I want formation subs, like franchises already got. And I want a Mutt Practice Man. I just want three things. We didn't get any of them. I've been begging for it for years now. Three things. Please, mutt. Okay, so they're listening to a lot of people's like quality of life, quality of life, you know, feedback features. That's what they brought to mutt this year. Um, so a lot of people are happy about that. Here's the mutt champion tokens. Um, did I talk about solo battles? Solo battles. We got 28 of those. Or oh, no, sets 2.0. Yeah, solo battles. I don't know if I mentioned that. You'll have you have four a day now. You can reset them every day. So they increase the number of solo battles, which is a big W for offline dudes um to grind out and get uh get solo battles done plus it allows you to get done a lot of your field pass too there it is you'll get it immediately after that sets 2.0 sets of ours been campaign blah, 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 blah. okay so sets will now be accessible from inside your item binder from your item binder you can toggle over and immediately access sets and set clearly see the set rewards with sets being a part of the item binder you get the benefits of item binder like being able to filter okay you can filter your sets and stuff um 
I don't know. I think it's an okay change. I don't have a problem with sets. Like, the thing about sets is, like, they were valuable a lot of times because not a lot of people knew about what to do. It's kind of like Gat Pack. I also and Kives got a lot of feedback. Man, can't they just give an option to buy 100 Gat Packs at once? I'd be like, well, they make it convenient to open Gat Packs. There's going to be no profit in it because people are going to be easily opening them and listing them because the time it takes to open and list them it was the profit there. And so with sets and they auto-complete based off you just hitting a button, it's really cool for quality of life feature to filter to finish that set. But I, it might, now I say might, I, I have no idea if it's actually going to. We'll see and we'll, we'll play out the year as it is. It might eliminate some of the profit there because of the convenience to finish it out. Now, to be on the flip side, the one reason I don't think that's going to happen is because people have to know there's profit there and not a lot of people do that research. Like if you're watching this video this deep into it, you're somebody that's going to know it, right? You're going to watch Market Monday. You're going to know the profit stuff and sets and you're going to be able to figure it out because you're a genius. Okay, but a lot of like more casual people um, won't, and that's uh, there's still probably be set profit and sets. Not to think about it, but it's a quality of life feature. You know, I wish they did the things that I asked for instead of this, but maybe I've just got a big freaking ego. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe I just think my feedbacks what want what I wanted to happen instead of reorganizing the item binder uh, and them spending their time developing that. Beyond simply moving where sets are located, we meant how you complete a set. For all sets, we automatically check your inventory for the lowest cost, unused, non-favorited items needed to complete a set. So you can favorite items this year. I don't think you can do that last year. That's a new feature. All you do is highlight the reward you want and press the redeem button. You will also see that as we pull into the set whether or not those items can be used in other sets. If you want to full control of what items you can exchange, that option is still available. So cool that I got options. It seems like they did a lot of work for this. Again, I think it was stupid work. I, I really think this was stupid work. They could have done so much better things. Like, please just listen to our feedback, man. Please. Can you? The people that play the game. Another change coming with sets to account based bound items. Account bound items. That, so we've, that BND at the bottom corner, it's NCAT. All right. This whole thing, this whole paragraph saying, it's just NCAT, bruh. All right. Bat. We just changed the name of NCATs. Simplified. Competitive play for solo battles. Oh, yeah. Here it is. I already talked to I already kind of already kind of said this one. Solo battles, uh, you'll be able to use a battle score until you choose, making progress to competitive pass, main way to earn soul rewards for solo battles. So solo battles are now going to be based off the competitive pass. Everything, a lot of things are going to be based on the competitive pass. Less specific objectives and competitive pass, so you can earn rewards based upon your number of wins and difficulty level you play on. So basically, solo battles, if you put it on all mad and difficulty, you get more points if you win a certain amount of games there. And then maybe on a, like you only got to win a certain amount of games all Madden. On that objective, like say you gotta win three solo battle games this week on all man difficulty. And then you gotta win like seven or more on all pro difficulty. And then, you know, the rest of them you gotta win on pro difficulty or more. Something like that. That's that's what I imagine this is gonna be. As for Red Dead Seasons, we have just the number of games for each division, the number of oh, I already talked about the Super Bowls. You get more Super Bowls more frequently. I I don't know, dude. I, I think Super Bowls should be rare. Not gonna lie, this is a this is a mid change for me. Okay, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Eight games total in a season, six total vision, be able to get to intense action to playoffs much more frequently. Yeah, but if you get, like, if it's always intense, it's never intense. Okay? Right? This is like, it's like that old Street Fighter move. I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was, like, this legendary moment in Street Fighter where I think it was Chung Lee was launching an attack at an opponent, and it was, like, her special attack. And the opponent, and this was, like, in a world championship a match, so mega intense. He was able to parry every single attack she sent, and he was, like, on a sliver of health. And it was, like, the most insane thing ever because the timing on it was was ridiculous, okay? And so the Street Fighter that saw that, like, wow, that was such an awesome moment. So they made it so that it was so much easier to repeat it in the next game, and then all of a sudden it became, who gives a shit, okay? Who really cares if it's so much easier to do? Now, I don't know. So, anyways, they said they're going to give, like, you know, that's where the best rewards are in Super Bowls, and people love rewards and stuff, but I don't know. At a certain point, the prestige of winning a Super Bowl was cool, but if you make it less cool, then, then it's less cool, man. I, there should be hard things to do in video games. That's my, my opinion. Mutt Draft, they removed ranked, create healthy and matchmaking pools. Yeah, I... I Putting Mutt Draft to competitive was the dumbest, one of the dumbest things uh, EA's ever done. I, it's such a, a casual game mode, they absolutely ruined. Because they went over to the competitive team and they just ignored it, right? Competitive team's the laziest. Now, they lost they lost their boss, luckily. A lot of the competitive players hated their boss, Matt Marco, or Marku, however you pronounce it. Um, 
And so maybe the competitive team will be better going forward. But yeah, that the, the competitive team completely ruined Mutt Draft. Um, so hopefully it stays updated. Um, they removed salary cap like we talked about. We have to say the efforts need to maintain these mode and redirect them towards speech to the benefit ultimate team as a whole. Okay. So salary cap gone. Mutt Draft hopefully will be updated. They said it's going to be updated in this here right here. Player items. Starting overall player items have been increased. Uh, we also added some basic versions of stand-up players, the NFL. I mean, if they're basic, how are they standing out, right? I've been called basic quite often, and I guess that stands out. You'll receive these players based off the team you select as your favorite team when you start playing. So if you got a theme team you want to run right away, make sure you select that as your favorite team when you boot up NFL 23. We also took a look at our power-up system. We assessed the overall design of power-ups. Power-ups of all the points in several other players require additional resources to build up and maintain Best friend player, all that led to best player, blah, 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 blah. Okay. We are dialing the use of power-ups back, like they've talked about, so that when you obtain a, the latest and best version of a player, that's it. You're the best version of that player. So, we talked about this again, to repeat myself from yesterday. P pros and cons. Pros, it makes it a lot simpler, um, cheaper, once you get the item. You don't got to power them up and waste all that training. Cons. The investment opportunities with mid-tier and low-tier elites that we had throughout the cycle to make coins and on power-ups are gone. So pros and cons. Now they are they are going to they are preserving some power-up stuff. Uh, Start with the ability, ability buckets were not just on power-ups. I don't know, whatever, dude. Marketing speak. Okay. Low overall elite players have ability buckets filled with abilities. Playing the players archetypes. I, I still don't understand archetypes. Uh, just get rid of archetypes altogether. There's no reason. Because higher overall elites will have custom ability buckets. In a little bit, we'll have higher overall elites. You expect custom ability buckets to contain unique features that like discount AP on certain abilities across archetype abilities. If Troy Palomalu doesn't have Acrobat for free, this whole system's stupid. This whole system should be thrown out. I don't care if there's a baby with the bathwater. Throw it out. In addition to the ability bucket changes, most elite players will have team chemistry bucket for you to choose. Yeah, we talked about that. So team chemistry is coming back. Traditional power-ups, power yeah. Some programs are feature similar design and collect all versions of the particular item. I, I truly think the reason they got rid of power-ups is because there was too much maintenance on EA's end. Uh, I think that's really it. It just caused way too much work for them. So, I don't know. Hopefully, they can put some of that work into making custom audible saved game-to-game -game formation subs and mutt practice mode. Legends program. Okay, no. Here's the weird part. Okay, okay. So, they're saving power-ups for some things. In our Legends programs, you can collect low overall version of Game 11, then collect Moment, Season, and Boss Editions to make Ultimate version. Isn't that just a set? Isn't that literally just a set, dog? I don't know. That's how a set is done. Just collect the editions, and then you make the Ultimate version. Weird. Streamlining your experience by taking out some of the unnecessary maintenance. Okay, Strat items. Biggest thing is they got rid of speed on Strat items. Nice. I don't like... Okay, so they, they moved it down to only one offense, one defense, and team affinity strategy item slot. I didn't mind having two and two. I actually got, like, strat items actually being strategy? It's kind of fun, but this makes the game last longer. We also remove the speed boost from any core strategy items. So they can bring... They, they, they can bring speed boosts in some sort of uh, program going forward but just core strategy items it's gone from i hope they i hope they limit speed boosts what they're gonna do is like give you speed boost for like a month again right so you feel like you need it or you, you do need it right so i don't know just get rid of all physical chemistries make them all mental but yeah so they, so they lowered the number of strat items and you only really are going to use two and then potentially some sort of uh program item slot that they're going to give you throughout the year so there it is. There is the Mutt Blog. W, L, or rated out of 10? Let's do rated out of 10. In my opinion, the changes to Mutt 23 is a 7 out of 10. Okay? Because they're missing the three things that I want. And that we've been asking for for years. Custom mod will save game to game. Mutt practice mode. And formation subs. Those three things would have been a 10 out of 10. I think they did a really good job on uh, listening to some feedbacks and some quality of life features no major changes to the game outside of bringing in all man seasons in my opinion the field pass is gonna be a big thing uh the, the, it's basically revamping level rewards and other rewards that's it though right i think it sets things mid 
Uh, a lot of things are side grades. But yeah, the big thing is uh, the All Madden Seasons. It's a lot of just quality of life stuff. So no major changes again this year. Sag. I was hoping for like parallels at least. Like LOB the show has. But let me know what you guys think. 7 out of 10 is a pretty good score in my opinion. That's that's nice. But we'll see how it plays once you boot up the game. That's it for the video. Uh, please sub. Really out to the channel. See you guys tomorrow.